Right now we are passing through a 287G county. There's a lot of fear in myself and the marchers because as undocumented, we would be probably the sole targets of, of being brought into the system. If we were to get pulled over and if the police really wanted to pursue it, you would basically get brought downtown to the local police station. And they would hold you until immigrations came and picked you up and then you'd have to go through that legal process of, of, of the immigration system. Um, with myself, with having a final order of deportation and knowing that Vietnam won't accept me back, then my recourse is basically indefinite detention at the detention center. This march, it, it means so much to me because I kind of look at the parallels of my situation with their situation. Um, as me being an adoptee without citizenship, not only was I brought to the U.S., but also the DACA recipients were brought to the U.S. I want America to see that there are people's lives that are affected here. There's the lives of our young youth that are a future of America that are trying to live their everyday life. They're trying to get their education. They're trying to put back into our economy. We just have some people that just don't want that. It's important to me that everybody sees how dedicated individuals are. And the immigrant community is not going to sit down and be quiet. This is a country that's built on immigrants.